Michael Meadow Sports Graduates. In the third round of my fight with Michael Johnson, after I took him down, he had his back on the fence. I pushed my knee under his knee and swung over with my right leg to close figure four and sit down to control him. You don't need to hold him here, just sit down and isolate his legs. He's obviously forced to escape from this position. Once he starts to try to get his legs out, he opens up for my punches. Now he needs to defend his head and I keep the control because he's nowhere to move. There's the cage wall behind him. The only thing the opponent needs here is to push your knee to escape. If I let him do it, he'll use this chance. So like I said, once he tries to get out, he exposes himself for strikes and I throw punches to his face. He defenses his face, I keep the control. After I did this in Michael Johnson fight, I got into mount, circled around him and finished it off with a Kimura. One more time, I slide my knee under his knee, I throw my right leg over, close figure four and sit down on him. If you watch the fight, you could see I was easily talking to Michael Johnson, who is one of the top lightweights in the world. When you compete at such a high level, it's very hard to fight and talk to your opponent simultaneously. But if you do the right things, you can chat to him and even take a cup of tea at the same time. I think I could even keep pushing him to the fence with one hand and try to take some tea with the other hand, as long as he can't reach me. He connected with punches a couple of times when I was telling him, it's time to give up and I don't want to smash your face, so you can do anything, you just have to use your brains. 